Hello everyone, this is Charles Bridgetech with another flashlight review, this time from Nightwalker. Now this here is their NK series. The version I have here is the N70T. Now I was sent this by Flashlight Go. They wanted me to test and review. This light comes in this box. It's got some more information here. I have the green body, the 3500 lumens, and beam distance is 300 meters. So let's wait no further. Let's open it up, see what's in. Now this is a complete kit. Comes with everything you need right here in the box. User manual. I've done many reviews for Nightwalker over the years. Now it's got just two light outputs here, so I'll go ahead and show them to you now. 3500 lumens is the highest output. Now if you need more time to read those, go ahead and pause the screen. Try to get it all in there. We're going to move along. Okay, so now get the rest of it out of here. Looks like we've got a clip. One O-ring, a USB Type-C charging cable, and a lanyard. Huge plus in my opinion. When they put the light in the holster, really does protect it in shipping. So we'll go over the holster here. That's just a single cloth material here. So I wish there was a D-ring on here and this was double stitched because the rest of the holster is very nice. But this here is a weak point. It does have the padded lining in here. So the holster is okay. This is a little weak point here. Wish they kind of went with a little bit better on that holster, especially if you're spending a hundred dollars on a on a light and you got it on your side and you're thinking everything's good and you get to really hiking hard and you're getting branches and stuff are rubbing off on you or whatever and uh, say like over time you've been carrying this for you know quite a while months and months every day this will become a weak point and uh, end up losing the whole light and the holster with it but in any case, let's go ahead and take a look at the light. There it is. I love the green. Looks great. And I love the color of the holster as well. I like this uh, lanyard ring on here. It's got either side you can use it on. And it rotates. Nice. Got some knurling here on the tail cap. Got the tail clicky there. A lot of heat sinking on here. This is pretty thick on here. Steel bezel on there. That looks good. Compact design, definitely geared for a tactical. You can carry it every day like this if you wish. Now behind this is the charging port right there. So I'm not too sure how this will help with cooling if this is really not part of the 
and may transfer some heat. It's got some weight to it. Feels solid. Feels very rugged as well. Style and design on this is very nice. No issues. I've had a lot of fun with their lights over the years. Many, many years. Okay, so now let's go ahead and take a look here at the textured reflector also known as the orange peel. This is running the Cree XHP 70.2 LED. And the machining and finish on this is very nice. Definitely easy to hold this. clicky that is pretty stiff but over time that'll loosen up a little bit not seeing any issues at all okay so now let's go ahead and uh, open this up and I'll show you the battery that it comes with Straight contact point there on the tail. You've got a protection piece here on the battery. You want to remove this. Now, don't throw them away. Actually keep them because if you store the light for long periods of time, you can always reuse that, especially if you're putting it in an emergency kit. Always nice to keep them. Now here's the battery that it comes with. This is a 21700 cell, 5000 milliamp. This is a 15 amp cell, unprotected. And straight contact plate there on the head as well no springs in this so maximum power is provided a little bit better performance when they have straight contact but sometimes your choices of batteries are a lot less now I'm gonna put on the clip before we go through the UI the UI is super simple on this it only has two light outputs um, high and low, and then it's got strobe. You take the clip out here. I use the clips on these quite a bit. And then there's the lanyard. And put this back up here. That's the O ring. So now we're going to go ahead and put on the clip. This is a two way design, it's always nice. Now it looks like that you can put it either this way or you can put it this way. So I always like carrying the bezel down facing to the ground when I'm walking. Definitely is nice and snug. Two way clip. Nice to be able to flip it around if you choose to carry it upright. It's up to you. Looks great. Now let's go through the UI. The UI is pretty straightforward. I turn it on. As you can see there, we'll go over the beam here first. Nice large hotspot, a lot of bleeding around the edges of that. No real sharp cutoff on that, but there is a cutoff. 
and the button did illuminate temporarily as you can see it's got a blue illumination there now that may drain the battery down so there's no real way to lock that out manually nope so my advice if you're going to store the light you definitely want to use that plastic piece that came with the light now the UI is pretty you know pretty straightforward but night walkers have always been a little bit different once you get the hang of it you can get it it comes on on that level but if you do want to go to the next level and have it stay on that level now if you do want it to stay on that level you're gonna half press and hold and it'll go up to that light level once you have it on it release it now it's on that level pretty straightforward double half press release now it's on that level so really easy to do that it's a little different but it's not hard to figure it out double half press again go to the highest output now it'll be on that now you can see that beam a lot better a lot of light man impressive feel the heat so now we're going to do the special mode we're going to double half press three times one two three we'll get you strobe and you can fully press that to stay it on there and if you don't want it to be on there you can basically half press three times one two three and you can just hold it and release it and that is a constant rate on the flash very distracting release that now remember we're on the highest output double half press Now if you push it all the way on it'll keep going up and down so you want to make sure you turn it off on the light level that you want which is the lowest light output release turn it back on now if you're in the pitch black and you have to turn the light off it's it's a pain in the butt that's the only thing that I see with this light now the turbo is going to step down uh, to conserve on the light and damaging it and protecting it from your hands so be prepared for that but the lower light output of 240 it's going to stay at that light level and excellent run time at that light level and that's all there is to the UI pretty straightforward a little bit different but not difficult All right, well, I'm super excited. Let's go ahead and take this Nye Walker out. See how it does in the wilderness. We are out here in the darkness with the Nye Walker. Let's go ahead and get started. I've got it set on the lowest setting to light outputs. 65 feet there to that tree. There it is on the fence. Thirty-five feet there to the water spout. And it is making the tree of life. Really cold this morning. is making it across the park to those playgrounds there now if you have any doubts or questions about my distances of my testing area there is a link below all my videos okay so now let's go ahead and change the light output here 
There's the highest nice type spill area, 138 feet. Just a huge hot spot on here. This takes up the whole tree almost. <laughs> now it is making 238 feet there. About 28 degrees right now. Really cold. Yep, that's working really good. Sorry about that. Do a beam profile here. I'd rather have the cold than the rain and the storms that we had. Personally, a lot of ice on the ground here. See the school out there? Not quite to the palm trees. Now this is getting pretty toasty on the head here, but it's super cold out here, so it's like a good hand warmer. Now the mist kind of floating across the ground just comes and goes. back down to the low slide output. Welcome back. Hope you enjoyed those night shots. Beam performance on this is very, very nice. Especially that world famous Cree XHP 70.2 never disappoints. I've really had some excellent success with that LED and the multi-LED on that one platform is, is just an amazing light. Uh, the LED, also the XHP50, uh, that is an amazing LED too, which is the smaller brother of this. So impressive all the way around. The UI, that's the only drawback. You got to turn the light off, but if you're going to be using the low level there's no issues there you just got to remember to double half press and hold it and when it goes up release it and turn it back on it's not really a con too much but if, when you're in the pitch blackness and you have no other light it's kind of a a pain to lose sight of anything that you're doing out there for just that moment but the build quality on this is very nice the type c charging is very nice now when you're using the clip you're going to lose the ability to take down your port and be able to get to it so just letting you know and the only reason why I don't mind doing that because I normally charge my batteries in a dedicated charger so just letting you know head heads up on that if you do use the clip you're not going to be able to bring it down unless you rotate the clip and you'll be able to use it that way. Love the color. Definitely comes in different colors, but uh, this one here is just really nice, rugged, and it's very nice. Okay. Well, I want to thank Flashlight Go for sending me this Nightwalker to review. Now, if this N70T is something you are interested in getting, I will leave a link down in the description box below the video, including a special discount code for this to help you save some money on this kit, just in case you're interested in getting it. Well, that's it for me. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, hit that thanks button. Donate to my channel if you wish. Every little bit helps. Otherwise, you can please share like and subscribe that way can bring more of these nightwalker products from flashlight go to you in the future thanks for watching take care
Well, let's take this outside, see how it does in the wilderness. <laughs> 